June 7th, 2018. This is Jason. His parents own three cars. They drive to work, to the grocery store, to the movies. 2025, Jason starts first grade. And since electric vehicles are more affordable than ever, it's an easy decision for Jason's parents to trade their old gas-powered cars for the new standard. Jason regularly gets to after-school activities using rideshare apps, many times in autonomous vehicles. In fact, a trillion-dollar mobility service market is now emerging. His parents use drones for package delivery, including when Jason forgets his lunch. Germany and Japan have stopped selling gas and diesel-powered vehicles. Carbon taxes have increased. 2030, Jason goes to intermediate school. His parents commute to work on hydrogen-powered trains. His friend's older siblings don't need driver's licenses. Instead, they rely on electric autonomous vehicles, which has led to a steady decrease in oil demand. 2035, Jason is 17. Instead of a car, Jason's parents buy him a personal aerial vehicle which he uses to get to high school and to spend time with his friends. And changing habits along with cheaper energy means world demand for oil has now peaked. 2040, Jason graduates college and enters the workforce. His daily commute from San Diego to Los Angeles is easy with the Hyperloop. The rapidly growing mobility service industry has made flights on demand a practical transportation option. Shaped by the last 20 years, Jason and billions of his fellow Generation Z friends are now our biggest consumers. The question is not, is change coming? The question is, when is change coming? Are you ready for the future? Because the future is already here.